we can't emphasize enough, read the manual. Um, once you do a couple of these, it becomes rinse and repeat, very simple to do. But the step that we're looking at right now is now that we've determined our pedal order and our configuration is we've laid out the pods accordingly. The simplest thing from this point on is now to reach into each box, pull the individual components as needed, and start the assembly process. So with that, we'll get started. What we recommend doing is taking the double blocks and locking all the components together. You simply put them in the slot, press down, and they lock the pods together. You'll feel some tension as they click in, and this just helps secure the components together. And you can see how much easier it is once you have all the parts basically broken out and in the usable order. Second step, these were the double blocks that we just installed. You can see that there's a path that's opened up for wire management. This gives you the ability to patch the cables through. Now we do sell this as an option without the circuitry and these paths are still there so you can use traditional guitar effects pedal cables or patch cables and wire it up as you would a traditional power board. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to install the single blocks. This isn't a mandatory thing but it's something to point out that there's a skinnier side and a fatter side. They work the same in both directions. It is designed to have the skinny side out. It just makes for a smoother transition. So we're simply going to place these in all the open locations around the pedal board, push them into place. So we'll do that real quick. And you can see as I'm doing this, there's a lot of parts and pieces that come with this solution. When Rick and I designed this, we tried to ensure that you wouldn't have to run to the guitar store or figure out a way around a solution, that you would have everything you need in the box to build this and just use a screwdriver really to assemble it. So now that all those are in, we're going to utilize, you saw this sitting on the table, this is a handle kit. The handle kit is designed to go across two pods. The box includes uh, these keystone pieces that are labeled. So if you see the RS, if we screwed it to this side, it would be right side, left side. We're doing it on the front and so we line up those holes, we pop it in, and they simply click and lock in. And now this is part of the solution. If you want to move it around later on or if the board grows and you need to reconfigure it, you just simply undo the, the top plates, move it around, and it makes everything accessible. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to check and we're going to make sure that all of our voltages are set correctly. Each pod, as we've noted before, has a switch. We're going to slide these all up to 9 volts because all the boss pedals that we are using today are 9 volts. So that's now selected. Now at this point you could also select your LED colors if you are using the LED with the clear translucent plates. In this case we're just using the blackout plates so we will not mess with the LED selecting switches at all. That is these, uh, the four switches that are right here. One trick that we've heard is if you install the gas pedal and power it up that way as you add your pedals, you can adjust the colors and I'll show you how to do that just as an example as we go forward.